slain before the foundation of the world but his masses will receive the honor access to the throne of grace there is no more veil before you and your God that means you can soak your, your, yourself in the presence of the Lord as you worship the great I am hallelujah and hallelujah we bless the name of the Lord for his sweet spirit. We bless him for his holy praises. We bless him for his love. We bless him for his tender mercies. We bless him for the love for the, that which he loved us with. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah and hallelujah. Again before you is your minister and a dear friend Humphrey Mokisa from Prayer Palace Christian Center, Chibuye Machinje Division. Uh, Kampala, the capital city of Uganda, being pastored by Dr. Bishop Rivers, Mrs. Salongo. Hallelujah and hallelujah. I will celebrate and bless the Lord on his behalf for the great work that he's doing in this nation. Hallelujah and hallelujah. I'd like to thank each and every one who has been sharing, also uh, 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 subscribing. I would like to give the, uh, the Lord all the glory for such people with a good heart. May the Lord richly bless you. May he increase you, bless you abundantly in all dimensions, on all aspects of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Again, we share a word just like we always do which for the moment of worship. We share a word as we soak ourselves deeper in the presence of the Lord, digging deeper the incense of worship as we worship the great I am. You know, you need to worship God with the knowledge. You need to worship God with all understanding. That means you never lag behind because you have really got it to know why you are doing it. We bless the Lord for the scriptures that we always share on the moment of worship. And today we're going to share a scripture that is in Romans chapter 9, uh, chapter we look at from verse 1. That's the scripture we're going to share today in the name of Jesus Christ, and the Son of the living God. And the Bible says that I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to, the, to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that that is good and acceptable 
perfect will of God. I bless the Lord for such a word in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Remember, we are still uh, 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 on our uh, uh, on our subject as we understand the unsearchable riches of glory the unsearchable riches of god himself Yet, uh, last time we talked about if you never uh, uh, maybe maybe you never wear it with us last time on on our moment of of worship that is on part 10 and that's season 10 if you you wear it with us you can go back and maybe check on it on part 10 it talks about uh, the masses of god the masses of the great i am that's what we talked about last time but today we're going to talk about the sacrifice presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice and and and, and when you look at it apostle paul is talking about to the church of rome and he said i beseech you therefore present by the masses of god he, again he, he he uses the masses of god as he shows us that out of, out of this masses of god we need to present our bodies as a living sacrifice as god does his part of the masses we need also to do our part and this our part is to present our bodies as a living Living sacrifice before the Lord in such a way we shall be in position to worship God wholeheartedly. Remember, someone asked me a question last time and he said that how can you worship God without any limitation? How can you worship God without anything hindering you? And I told him, I told that person, you can worship him so long as you know that you've been purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ and you're totally free. There is nothing that is hindering you, there's nothing that is limiting, limiting you by the masses of God. And now Paul is talking to the church of, of, of Romans, he's telling them. That you need to sacrifice your bodies. You need to sacrifice your soul. That's the only sacrifice you need to do in the presence of the Lord. You need to sacrifice your soul. You need to sacrifice your mind, your body, your soul, your everything in order to worship the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, as the Lord. I, I, I render his masses in your life you need also to do your part of sacrificing yourself that means we put aside every carnality everything that is trying to hinder in, to hinder you in worshiping god you put it aside you need to suppress it to sacrifice yourself to receive the masses of god that you may also worship him hallelujah and hallelujah i'd like to welcome someone you know on the moment of worship we give and uh, we, 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 we give uh, we enable someone we give someone an opportunity to accept our lord jesus christ as the lord and your personal service that's it's the reason why we are still living the bible says in in, in romans 10 uh, verse 9 and 10 it says that that man believeth with his heart receive the gift of righteousness and he confesses with his mouth receive the gift of salvation that means you need to receive this gift of salvation and also the gift of righteousness the moment you believe you believe by your heart with your heart you believe to, to get the, this gift of righteousness hallelujah and hallelujah and if you'd like to join us if you like um, may, maybe uh, to accept our lord jesus christ as your lord and your personal savior it is high time for you to uh, to confess with us because the bible says that in, that, that, uh, in john 3 uh, 16 that for god so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son jesus christ and whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life now you can confess with that excuse me Say, Father, from today, I open up my heart, accepting my Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and my personal Savior. From today, I confess with my, with my mouth that I am born again. I denounce every act of the enemy and I renounce every act of the devil. From today, I cancel out every communist that involved myself in. Now, from today, I'm totally free because i've accepted my lord jesus christ as my lord and my personal savior now today you are a child of god actually you are a born again let me pray for you father in the name of jesus christ i pray for that gentleman i pray for that lady i pray for that young girl who has accepted you as her lord and her personal savior i pray for her life I pray from today that she might achieve everything that she's yearning for. Because the Bible says that he whom the Son sets free, he is free in need. And today, because she is free, let her be financially free, materially free. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you blossom in all aspects of your life. May you increase in wisdom. May the Spirit of the living God operate in you. May you grow spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father, I'd like to thank you and glorify you. For I surely know 
that you have blessed that person in the name of Jesus Christ. You have blessed that woman, that person who is sick. I pray for healing in your bodies in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your total deliveries in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Remember always to tune in on the moment of worship every Sunday. We shall be joining after you always join us on the moment of worship and we shall dig deeper in the instance of worship. Remember, the revelation in the word of God is not a monopoly. It comes from naturaling us and also edifying us for edification naturaling us into maturity so always tuning in that we may worship together in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god stay tuned always and bye bye in the name